Welcome everyone to the third installment of the Woodbury Poetry Room series, Reinventing the Workshop. Tonight our event will begin with a reading by our guest poet, Anna Bozitsevich, and a performance with her collaborator, Sofia Lafraga. Together, Sofia and Anna form the poetry duo, Not I. After their performance, there will be a brief intermission, followed by a workshop led by Anna beginning at 6 p.m mean something, invent nothing, change everything. These are the directives printed on the cover of Anna Bozitovich's most recent collection, Rise in the Fall. Like little theaters, the poems within are the stages upon which these actions are configured. In the title poem, the set is a Manhattan cafe in spring, the leading role played by the poet herself. When the remembered dream poem, Pinko, inserts itself whole onto the page, the poet muses, Pinko was not even that good, but I can still change everything about it. We can change everything. And so the act of revision becomes, that quickly, the means to re-envision a world. Anne Waldman has called her one of our most rambunctious and charismatic poets. She's here tonight to read her poems and to explore the ways in which the workshop may just help us change everything. Please join me in welcoming Anna Bozitsevich and her partner in poetic crime, Sofia Lafraga. Hi, and thank you um, so much for coming. <coughs> thank you, Christina, and everyone here for having us. Um, so I'm going to um, read to you a bit from this book, Rise in the Fall, and then I'll um, read you some new poems. Um, so here's a poem called About Nietzsche. Softly Nietzsche landed on earth. He found it green. He was alone, save for the horse. It stood off to the side of a fallen wood fence. There they had this talk. Horse, do you actually see me? And Nietzsche, yes, but to what end? Then the horse said, let me tell you a story. Say there is one you love much. Historically, you carry her things. Always a thing or two on you she might use. Then one day, while riding, she brings up horses, casual, how there are many different kinds, and one just can generalize. In fact, it's pardon horse shit for horse to unionize. Then quickly, she'll switch the subject to God. The god is a daffodil up on a greening hill. He grows ears in the crowd. How soft he puts roots in their ears. The whole world breaks into this vintage applause. And you? You just trot on with her on your back, stricken and bucking. And pretty soon, there will be a picture of you pulling a cart in every deli, and every girl will wear her dress. Nietzsche sunk to his knees. One lash for each eyelash. You are here, horse pressed on, because you can see the suffering now. And one you love best loves to shop for its ineffable bridles. And soon you'll learn the song of the pretty bridle is stronger than the song of the wound that it grooves. And soon no one will give a fig about a humbled Nietzsche. This is the whitest shit I've ever written. <laughs> Truth is, Osama bin Laden was killed today. Two women were shot in that raid. And yet again, I can't escape this feeling of living in a world of men whose intricate games I'm to jeer and cheer, but they just leave my head blank like a foggy morning in down-curved streets of oddly familiar towns whose patisseries mean everything to someone and nothing to me. It's like I'm already dead. Or just talking to some apple trees. And yet again, beauty has won in all its terrible, terrible, casual terror and pain. So here's some new poems. I've been writing a lot um, on my phone, and I was wondering what the best text message poem could be. So this poem is called The Best Text Message Poem in the World. As you read this, you realize you love me, but I'm dead. That's not bad, right, <laughs> if, if you receive that? Um, so this is a poem I wrote uh, here in Boston at last year's AWP, and I was very inebriated, and I recorded it on my phone and then transcribed it later without having remembered it at all. So it's called Wittgenstein. I understand now I am on a hermetic journey. 
I pass through the lip of the shell to the room. There sits Wittgenstein. She says, I am the Holy Grail. I understand, I say, my fleshiness also hides my skeletonness. AWP. <laughs> Maybe you can relate. Um, and here is a, a poem called Poem. The great field hadn't talked to anyone in 50 years, and then it spoke to Liam. Everyone was astonished. Sadness in the kingdom of heaven. You're the holy ghost in the church of abandonment that is conceptualism. Hope has a secret sauce. Um, here's a poem called Baroque. And I guess it's dedicated to Tumblr. Here's a great tumbler, they whispered as he walked by in robes of naked dragon gold. Tumbler, tumbler, they chanted when they burned the rotting books in pyres the woman stepped out of, tumble. It's not the joy I give you, not travel, but winter face, interlocking vines that could go this way, sans end, and they do. Scroll, scroll. The dawn is breaking, war is starting, you're my magician forever. I cried when you left me for a critic in the provinces, oh for those sleigh bells. And Listmas is coming, it's mania, a brooch that shades the me and the other. Sleep, sleep. A cameo cradles the thumbnail of your changing profile in heaven. Joyride. Skinny dirt road in the middle of the ocean that led to the house of art. I took it. The engine nearly drowned. I lied that it was fun, that I'd do it again. When I got to that shore, the house was gone. And when I looked back, so was the path. Now I'm old. I drown in my bed a thousand miles inland. For years, I thought I could art my way back. Cats sing of rose dawns. This country is the mirror image of the one I left, except I have bad dreams. And you're the only person who's not here. Is it the same for you? Uh, here's a poem. You know, like those websites, like BuzzFeed, Viral Nova, all those feel-good websites that present you with like stories like, Grandmother and her granddaughter walked into a store, but what happened next will astonish you. <laughs> so I decided that these titles were very poem worthy. So here's a poem called, Every time I think nature can't shock me anymore, I discover something like this. Wow. <laughs> Remember feelings before emoji? Remember seeing the stars in the sky? I remember really being alone. Emoji remember feelings to me like glitter recalls stars in the sky and loneliness smells of company. We experience new old feelings with each new emoji. New old stars are discovered every year and named after their captors. Emoji sign feelings. Stars embody an old light with a retinal lag of departure. Come back to me as emoji or a star that doesn't reach after meaning. Wow. So what if instead of like wrapping me with a rope, you came up on the stage um, with like a tray of uh, shot glasses dressed as a French maid and just like threw them in my face as I read? Yeah, but imagine if instead I had like a pile of dirt, like a pile of just soil, and then I like started kind of shoveling it and burying you as you were reading. That's pretty good, but like imagine instead of like me reading, it was you who was reading one of my poems, preferably one that starts with an I. And I was sitting in the audience and then like slowly began to approach you from the audience. And I kissed every little bit of ground between you and me. And then like I kissed up the mic if you had the mic. And I kissed the page and then I, and then I like kissed you with those lips. Oh, that sounds disgusting. But what if instead of like reading at all, we just drop that and just distributed all of our poems into the audience? There's an idea.
im Abendrot. It is the twilight of art. Hey, not I. You know what's weird? That art got kind of beautiful like I never was before. In the wind, in the mountain soundtrack, I heard naught but one word, Strauss. Mountain, come back to the mountain. This is the navel where project meets affect. Not I am the future, that's an order. Crystal, break open up the meadow made up of code and power. Deep pun, open, the sky pours over the wound. We're the new decodants. Art sleeps too, bitches. It's time to wake up. We are not I. For Brainerd. I forget the color of my father's eyes. I forget to breathe. I forget the quadratic equation. I forget how many inches are in a foot all the time. I forget everything. I forget to forget you sometimes. I forget whether I turned off the coffee pot before leaving the house. I forget part of Zadar's layout. I forget Croatian. I forget to eat. I forget to forget you. I forget where we were. I forget, or I forgot. I forget which trains transfer at Times Square. I forget which trains transfer at Penn Station. I forget you're a bitch. I forget the, oh, Jerusalem. I forget where Sheep's Head Bay is. I forget which islands there are in New York aside from governors. I forget my user ID and password. I forget the time difference between here and Germany. I forget my first kiss. I forget I even had cancer. I forget my Verizon Wi-Fi password. I forget the exit you take on the highway to get to my parents' house. I forget things, but it's part of the game. I forget to buy toilet paper until I've already run out. I forget to remove my tampon. I forget, sorry. I forget a lot of birthdays. I forget the answer to the security question. I forget the magnitude of the recession. I forget who you are. I forget the words to songs. I forget which comes first, labor or Memorial Day. I forget my passwords. I forget what it feels like to have super short hair. I forget to turn off my cell in the airplane. I forget things easily. I forget what it feels like to be in a country where you don't understand the language. I forget being a child and having been told what to do. I forget to take my birth control pill. I forget what I did on my 13th birthday. I forget to tell people how much I really do appreciate them for being an important part of my life. I forget you every day. I forget the rest. I forget that I'm married. I forget the feeling of summer vacation. I forget the thrill of the last day of school. I forget that I still do have a disease. I forget that I am a painter and not a politician. I forget how to play classical guitar. I forget a riot. I forget a riot. I forget my grocery list every time. I forget to be jaded some days. I forget the second part of Debussy's arabesque. I forget what Bart looks like. I forget my phone. I forget I don't wear any underwear. I forget I wet myself too. I forget your birthday. Oops. I forget your suffering. I forget what it's like to swim in the sea, not in the ocean. I forget what it's like to never feel guilty. I forget what it's like to never feel fearful. I forget everything but your face. I forget to grab a towel before I shower. I forget that the rest of my computer still works even when the internet is down. <laughs> I forget to turn off my swag and sometimes I end up covered in bitches. I forget what it's like to walk around without a jacket. I forget what it's like to be with anyone else when I'm with you. I forget the words to that thing you say in AA, keep coming back, it works if you work it. I forget the first time I got drunk. I forget that someone I know in real life follows me on here. I forget 9-11. I forget myself. I forget my name even. I forget three, four occasions he refuses the mask because he's unhappy with the design. I forget to see the other things she does which prove her love for me. I forget what it was like to have a boyfriend. I forget what it was like to have sex with a man. I forget the person who broke my heart. I forget about the things I love. I forget if I technically graduated in 2011 and 2012. I forget what it's like not to live in New York. I forget if it's like to live in Europe. I forget what it's like not to have a cell phone. I forget things or perhaps it's the air. I forget to have fun. I forget the first time I went on the internet. I forget the time before Facebook when we only had emails. I forget life before the web. I forget the names of flowers. I forget what it's like to be a virgin. I forget what it's like not to be in love. I forget what it's like not to be a smoker. I forget how boring air travel really is. I forget what sign comes after Pisces. I forget they run the, the opera like they run the military. I forget if midnight is 12 a.m. or p.m. I forget to remember. I forget to forget.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 